Welcome back to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. When we left off, I turned on all of the coolant, and now I've been informed I need to defend the area, which I will with gusto. I've been looking forward to a big old fight. Kind of glad I filled up my ammo actually before I uh, took these. Oh, before I took these guys on. What? <laughs> Jeez, I wasn't expecting them to come up from behind me. Reload. Dodge. Ah, oh, dodge one, but got hit by the other. Son of a gun. Might have to throw down one of these just in case. Oh, I did it. Yoink. I'm sighted in now. I still have no idea what I'm People looking at. It's left. I'll come and have a skeg in a sec. Come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. You were distracted. Jeez. Yoink. Reload. Phew. Finally get to see what this signal is. I wonder if this is the signal from the DLC, the first game, called The Signal. I remember, uh, spoilers obviously, uh, in the first DLC, the, was it the first DLC? Or was it the second? I think the first was The Signal, the second was The Writer. I think in The Signal DLC you got to meet Thomas Zane. But, Are we receiving the signal? I don't remember what The Signal was. Oh, yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow. Like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it? Or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow. But you should be getting a printout of it now. How do we hear it? I thought it was a visual phenomenon. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something. But it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... It's not the right sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that, or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. You turned your back on me again. Really not going to save you if you get in trouble. Let's just print out. Yoink. Print out of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a road map for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. In Night Springs. Am I changing location again? The Night Springs Drive-In Theatre in Arizona. The Drive-In. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the Champion of Light here. I would very much like to see Ham, a documentary. Oh. What was that noise? Is that a page? Looks like it. Let's check if there's anything else out here. Oh, so there's the observatory. I'm guessing I was beyond that over there somewhere before. So I haven't gone too far. Pick up the manuscript, and it is 
The Grenadier. The Taken were always single-minded. They had a certain animal cunning, but they weren't very intelligent. That's one reason why they prefer melee weapons. Actual firearms are too complex for them to use. That's why seeing the one who threw grenades at me surprised me. But of course, they aren't actually grenades. There's no pin to pull, no fuse to set off an explosive, just concentrated darkness. Ah, uh, he's the guy from arcade mode who looked like Hawkeye from the Avengers. I'm stuck down this freaking fence. Let me out. Sandstorm doesn't really bode too well, does it? I'm guessing it's gonna be an invisible wall here. Yep, as I suspected. And before I head in, I'm just gonna check behind these rocks. That seems like a good place to hide some stuff. Invisible wall here, so I've reached the edge. And I don't actually see anything out here. So perhaps I was wrong. Maybe there's nothing off the beaten track in this area. Oh, ooh, we've got a building here to check out. This is where I started. Yeah, it is. This is my car. I'm really bad with directions and locations. Oh, is that something? No, it was my torch. I see something down there, though, but that, I'll get to that. Mm, doors? Anywhere? Just keep walking, Alan. Just keep backing up. Let's check in this is uh, booths. Oh. Six dollars. I don't have six dollars. Oh, this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like quite a few abandoned cars here, actually, looking down that road. I wonder if Mr. Scratch and the darkness are responsible for all of these. Spiders? Perhaps. There's another building down there. Alright, let's not go too f Oh, that would be a page. Right there. Yeah, you can see... Oh, that's a TV, in fact. Yeah, so these things you can see from so far away. Unless they're, like, behind something. I don't think there's a massive need to go searching out into the... Desert. Right, let's try and break in here where I heard these voices. The 12th annual NSVA Film Festival. Oh. Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. I see darkness. Hey, I want you, but you'll get angry if you're here. So, you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on? Accidentally. It's... The big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... it's on the wall next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. <laughs> what if I do this? Is that the printout that Mr. Scratch got? Looks like... Ooh, flare to that. And that one. And that one. No, not that one. I'll talk to you in a minute. I just want to check out... 
Ooh, there's a radio in there. There's a cheese wagon. Alright, okay, let's talk to Juliet Lewis and then we'll proceed. Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean... Where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now. And you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. I ain't got time for that. Let's... I don't know the radio just yet. But it looks like I have to because there's... Oh, wait, no, there is something here. Ah, the keys for the generator. Yes. Let's tune in for another interview with the old gods of Asgard. And we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material. But you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement. We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the lodge, and, uh... We escaped. We were at the retirement uh, thing. Retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty. So it took us a while to find the right gear. But, hey, once we got going, whoo, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon. And seriously, I think it's their finest work. And, hey, I should know. I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this is my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Uh, you know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in, like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch, but it's totally old gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's Old Gods of Asgard, and Balance Slays the Demon. Oh, yeah! I don't think we can listen to this. I'll, I'll just go. A man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Uh, I really wanted to listen to the Old Gods new album, but I'm assuming it's just going to be copyrighted music. So, uh, unfortunately, I cannot do that. Oh, uh, oh, what was that? That sounded like something out there. Oh well. Manuscript. There's a lot of uh, reading and listening to do. Bright Falls. How is it a... Bright Falls doesn't exist in this dimension, I'm guessing. This is Night Springs. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. 
It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. I believe at that point the only people who did were Thomasine, who was no longer here, Barbara Jagger, who was kind of no longer here, um, Tor and Odin Anderson, but they were kind of kooky, and Emil Hartman knew when he was taking advantage of it. Spoilers! I can still hear the old cuts in the background. Oops. Alright, looking out the window. That guy made an awful lot of noise. For one guy. That's another one. Stop trying to sneak up on me. While I look at your friend. Completely lost my train of thought now. Ah, I didn't see anything over here while I was looking out the window. But I did see shiny things over here, so. I've got a safe zone there. That looks like a weapons case, actually. There's another building. More safe zones and stuff. Let's, uh, let's jump over here. Yeah, I'll take ammo's. Never have too many of them. And we have... Sword off shotgun. Don't have enough pages though, unfortunately. That looks like it'll blow up. Not gonna shoot that right now. Oh no! I broke it by walking in it. Hmm. Something you shop. Ah, there's a page. We'll grab this page, head up to the souvenir shop, and after that we can go to our objective, I guess. A car in flight. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Hmm. Is that from the future or the past? Because when the... In the original Alan Wake, when the story sort of truly begins, it's when you wake up in a crashed car. Is that from then or is that something to expect? I don't really see a pipeline around here, though. I don't remember a pipeline in Cauldron Lake, either. What's that there? That, oh, that would be the weapons case I couldn't get. Is that a page or a saw blinking? No, it was a bit of light peeking over the horizon. Just check around this bit here before I check out the souvenir stand. you got to check, man. If you don't check, then you don't know. I would never forgive myself. Hello? A crossbow. Now that's handy, I read in the... Oh. Weapons information screen. That. If you have the crossbow, you can shoot through the darkness, so you don't have to strip it off them first. But supposedly, it is hard, hard to use due to... The fact that it acts, it shots. Freaking, I wish the music wouldn't end if there's still a guy hanging around. Give me a false sense of security. Give me that, It's locked. That's not good. Yeah, up on the roof. Right, I'm going to call it here then. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow where I'm going to perhaps pick this up. And I'm going to head off and turn on the power to free Juliet Lewis from her darkness spell. Goodbye. <laughs>